So you're in a state of confusion right now. You are trying to make some kind of decision. You might be feeling a bit trapped, uh, you know, a bit confused, really, uh, about which way to go uh, and what to do next. Uh, you, you, this man is in the middle of a maze. So there might be a lot of options available for you, but you really are not uh, seeing things very clearly. And you're waiting for clarity to come to mind over here so that you can make that decision. So very confused about something and looking or seeking clarity. Maybe you're looking to the past for answers as well to try and make that particular decision. Now, there could be a, sex a sexual attraction going on in the work front as well because you've got this uh, sexual attraction card. So there might be somebody that you're very, very attracted to as well. And that's probably going on, um, you know, uh, as well. So you, you're you in a position where you're, um, you know, uh, there's a little bit of... Uh, drama going on over there where you're confused about something you could be even confused about this relationship in itself but there's something that is happening that is uh you know got you in a little bit of a tizz there so you've got hope uh card coming in over here so you were making plans for the future over here and you have some new ideas that you want to do and you've been doing a lot of communication as well so it looks like there might be some international communication going on but a lot of communication speaking to a lot of people collaborating with a lot of people and you've got some new plans in pl that you are putting into place as well now going into the future you've got the full card of here so something brand new coming in for you starting a new project but you're proceeding very very cautiously here you've got the stop look and listen card over here you're at a little bit of a standstill so you know you're waiting for some kind of information to come to light uh, but you're considering all the facts very very carefully and you want to make a brand new start on something because you can see this man's at the edge of the cliff so you want to take a risk uh, you want to start something brand new, but you are very confused as to whether or not you should actually be doing it. Uh, and you're waiting for some kind of clarity to come in uh, with regards to that. So those are the energies that are going on within those two weeks. Okay, so you've got the Nine of Swords over here. So you're very anxious about something. Uh, you know, you're seeing it as being a big problem, really. It's, it's like this bug has gotten really, really big. So maybe, you know, you're overthinking the situation and it's now, uh, you know, blown itself up to the form of being a monster in your mind, really. So something that you're really, up, you know, anxious about, expecting that worst case scenario, uh, you know, maybe not sleeping at night and feeling a bit overwhelmed by whatever that situation is. So you can see he's even dropped his rod over there. I don't know if you can see that. He's dropped his rod over there on the floor. So, you know, it, it's um, it's even affecting how you're thinking and how you're even working, whatever this anxiety is that has come about, whatever this problem is that has come about. And you're overthinking it as well, so it's becoming even bigger in your head. Uh, you know, you might be giving it too much of airtime in your head, and it's becoming something that's becoming a bit overwhelming as well for you. Now, you've got a decision to make over here. You've got that two of rods over here. So there are two projects that you have to consider. Uh, and you're trying to, uh, you know, foretell or foresee the future or trying to make plans for the future. You're trying to manifest this new idea as well. Uh, you know, trying to bring it into your reality. Uh, you've also got a little uh, dragon within this uh, crystal ball over here. So you are worried that, you know, one of these projects that you're going to be doing is, uh, might not work out. So maybe this is where this anxiety and fear is coming in for you. So there's some kind of choice that you have to make and you're working on this kind of project. So this is about planning, working on it, trying to manifest it, but also worried that it might not turn out well. <coughs> It looks like you don't, you know, you're going to be working pretty hard on this particular project, but it's going to be successful uh, because this man's got the, you know, uh, rod in his hand. He's wearing gold armor. So, you know, you are, are pretty well, uh, you know, protected. You have everything you need to actually sort through this particular problem. And there needn't be any worry about it because it looks like with that sun card, it's going to be pretty successful. It's going to take a lot of hard work, but it's definitely going to be very, very successful, whatever this project is. So this worry and anxiety is a bit unnecessary right now um so you know just uh, be aware of that you need to just de-stress really so in the past you've got the tower card over here so the tower card usually comes back uh, comes in you know when there's something big that came and disrupted foundations so you know you were as well established you know whatever you're working with uh it looks like some kind of information because you've got that owl coming in and disturbed 
uh, you know, the, the normal flow of things or it's it disturbed the energy quite a bit. In this card, the tower is not broken down. So it didn't break down things, but it certainly has got you questioning uh, a lot of things as well. And it's new information because it came in with the owl and, you know, it's been, um, you know, um, have, has had you uh, questioning a lot of uh, things. So uh, maybe there has been a breakdown of your foundations or, you know, your your structure system. So you maybe uh, it's taken you out of your comfort zone and something, uh, you know, causing a lot of upset as well with that tower moment. But it looks like, you know, you've recovered from whatever's happened. You've got the Three of Cups over here, which is talking about celebration. It's also talking about having a lot of support from people around you, giving you that, you know, maybe the people that you're working with, you're working in some kind of team. They're very, very supportive. And, uh, you know, they. Um, it could be also that, you know, you're doing also some learning as well and you're with a group of people. So you're all learning together, but you're enjoying each other's company uh, for the most part. So on your mind, you've got the magician over here. So you do want to manifest something new. So whatever new ideas and plans you have in your head, you are trying to bring it into your reality as well. So if you're going for more promotions, you might be very, very busy as well. Uh, and you're trying to time manage as well. So the magician card is ruled by Mercury, which tends to rule Virgo which rules Virgo rather. Uh, and, you know, it's about communication. It's about working hard. It's about multitasking. It's about being very, very busy. So you're trying to manifest uh, your new plans or whatever you're doing, you're trying to manifest it. And maybe this is where that anxiety comes from because you're worried that it will not work out. Virgo does tend to be a perf perfectionist and maybe this is the reason why you're worried that the project may not be a success. You can see that even though he's trying to look into this crystal ball, there's a little dragon there. So, you know, that is showing that, you know, you're worried that it might not work out at all or that it might go all wrong. So going into the future, you've got the King of Swords over here. So this is talking about, you know, there's something legal or something official that you're going to have to deal with. Uh, but also this could be a card where, you know, you might be uh, doing a lot more uh, communication, maybe public speaking, maybe dealing with some kind of official business as well. So some kind of either judgment coming in or you're dealing with some kind of official business as well coming in. And you can see he's got a lion on, on his... Uh, chest over here so you're going to have to uh, act with confidence speak your truth uh, and take control of that situation so there's something that you're going to be dealing with on an official basis as well you could also be doing some public speaking as well over there so going uh, into the future what's going on with you you've got the temperance cards so you've got to throw away all that negativity that you have accumulated over the years build up some self-confidence take advice from people and act so put all those negative thoughts, throw it out into the past um, and start moving forward. That temperance card is about getting that balance. So, you know, you're over anxious. You need to get rid of that anxiety and throw it out of your experience in order for you to move forward and start getting some positive attitude. So have some positive affirmations in order for you to move forward. You are going to be working pretty hard soon. Uh, you've got that three of pentacles and this is collaborating with a lot of people. So you're very, very learned, you know, you're very learned. You're very, very experienced in whatever you're doing. Like I said, there's a lot of deadlines that you're going to be uh, uh, facing as well. They're very hands-on job and you're going to be very focused on this particular job. This King of Swords could also be that you're signing new contracts for a new job since it's sitting next to the Three of Pentacles. So it looks like, you know, whatever you're doing is something brand new. Uh, you know, you've, you will manage to manifest it. So you make a decision, it seems. You'll be working pretty hard. And even here with this Three of Pentacles uh, and that Sun card is working pretty hard, but bringing in the money as well. And there could be some further study as well to, to do with that particular job. Um, so, you know, you've got that Knight of Pentacles. So this is where you want to focus all your attention on your work. Uh, and maybe you want to do some travel as well uh, and get away from, you know, a difficult situation. So you are really work-based, work-orientated uh, with this. So the Knight of Pentacles brings in the money, but there's a lot of hard work. And like I said, with, because he's taking off, it looks like, you know, it looks like there might be uh, a lot of travel as well that comes in with this particular job. So going into the future, you've got the moon card, the seven of swords, and that uh, page of pentacles. So the moon card is still feeling a bit stuck, feeling a bit depressed, a bit confused about what to do. 
so, you know, you're a bit at a, at a loss here. Uh, also, you know, feeling a little bit financially depleted there because she's, uh, you know, in the middle of winter over there. The br uh, moon brings in a bit of confusion and also brings in hidden facts that have not been revealed. So you're waiting for something to come to light. Uh, you are dealing with a lot of toxic people as well. So the moon talks about hidden enemies and the Seven of Swords is actually showing you all the hidden enemies, uh, which are, you know, very snake-like. Uh, you know, they're trying to uh, mess with your mind as well and trying to control you. You can see she's got a lot of snakes in her head. So you are dealing with a lot of toxic people and a lot of, um, you know, a toxic situation and being manipulated or being uh, bullied maybe by a lot of people around you. Now, there's some new, uh, there is a new job offer coming in for you or even a promotion coming in. You can see this person's got two pentacles in the hand and they're weighing their options or weighing which particular job they want so it's either going to be stay in this particular job or move on. And that's what you're going to be doing. Uh, so some news comes in. You might have been putting in some application uh, uh, for forms for you know, putting an application in for a new job. And it looks like that is coming in and you're going to receive news about that where you have to make a decision. And it looks like, you know, you might uh, move on. Uh, because you've got here this King of Swords. It's about, you know, maybe cutting out that past and moving on. And this is also about signing contracts and taking control. You've got that lion on his chest. So you're, um, you know, developing your confidence and moving on. So you might actually move away from this really difficult situation or very toxic situation, uh, weighing your options, news coming in over here and deciding deciding that you don't want to stay there anymore. And it looks like this new job, if you decide to move, is going to pay you uh, very, very well. You can see this man's traveling or moving away. So it looks like you're going to be moving. You've manifested this new job with this uh, two of rods, and it looks like you're moving away from that difficult situation. And, uh, you know, you're going to be working very, very hard soon. Um, being in charge as well, because you can see it's this man who's got the rod in his hands. It's magician's got the rod in his hand and he's stirring. So he's the one that is controlling things there. So that looks like where you're going to be doing, um, you know, you're going to be taking charge of that situation. So I'm going to just draw some uh, cards from the fairy tarot and you've got the Ace of Spring over here. So it's time to take action. Be fearless and happy to pursue your most treasured dreams and amazing career opportunities. So there's a new opportunity coming in for you and you have to act on it. Uh, so no time for sitting around. Uh, you've got to be fearless. You can see with that King of Swords, he's got that lion on his chest you do have to be very courageous you have to be very confident and you have to move on this new opportunity is coming in and you have to be very very proactive um, so make your decision quickly this card even says you have to make a decision pretty quickly uh, here you are sitting over there uh, pondering uh, it's no time to uh, wait for things to happen you've got to act pretty quickly and if you do, you have, it says here with Empress card, it's time to take action. The power of creativity, success that allows you a life of luxury. So instead of sitting here and, you know, deciding and overthinking the situation, you're going to have to take action and um, move on. And then you've got the four of spring, because if you take action, you're going to bring in that stability. Be grateful for what you have. Uh, you have much to celebrate, deep feelings of peace and happiness, a contented personal life. So whatever you uh, decide is going to bring you a lot of stability. It could even, you know, lead to a new relationship, uh, but it's going to bring in a lot of happiness and you're going to be uh, celebrating uh, as well. So, um, you know, it's time for you to make that decision and make a decision pretty quickly. And, you know, time for you to stand up for yourself um, and be bold. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's how you're going to be able to manifest this new uh, position that's going to bring you a lot of happiness and a lot of money in with the Empress card. Uh, it allows you a life of luxury, in other words. So don't be negative. Throw out that negativity with that Temperance card and stop being anxious as well. Uh, you need to stop overthinking the situation. You just need to maybe be a bit mindless and just make the decision and go for it. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.